So my breadboard connection, I have already connected a controller PIC 16F877 onto the breadboard. So the 3 pin IC, what you see on the left side, is nothing but the 7805 uh, voltage regulator. So uh, the pin number 1 which is on the left side of the 3 pins, the pin on the extreme left is pin number 1 which is, is nothing but the input voltage. So you'll be connecting the input voltage here. It can be up to 12 volts. Then the second pin which is the middle one is the ground one, is the ground pin and the third pin is the V out, nothing but the output voltage of 5 volts comes out of that pin. And then I have connected that 5 volts to the this row which is the red row which is a power supply row and the middle one to the blue row which is nothing but the negative row. So the entire section will be powered up with 5 volts and the second row would be completely negative. Now as you can see, I have connected a 1K, 1 kilo ohm resistance, this one, from pin number 1, which is nothing but the MCLR, to the power supply 5 volts, so that this pin is 1, so it, nothing but in turn it comes as 0 within the controller. And I have also connected a load capacitance, I would say, there to just to avoid the controller from brownout reset or low volt reset in case if you're connecting some motor driver or something if you're interfacing a motor driver along with this controller you know when the motor runs there is a chance that the voltage may drop at the controller and the controller will get reset so to avoid that i've connected a capacitance here it can be of around you know uh, 100 microfarad by six bar 16 volts and one end of the capacitance is connected to the pin number one and the other end is connected to the negative so basically from power or I have a 1 kilo ohm resistance which is going to the pin number 1 and I have a capacitance across pin number 1. Now next is pin number 12 and 11. So as you can see pin number 11 I have connected it from the input voltage of 5 volts to pin number 11 and the next pin number 12 is connected as negative here. And what the silver component what you see here is the 20 megahertz oscillator and as I had explained I have connected two capacitance across the oscillators so you can see that along from the pin from the oscillator pin itself in the same row I have connected a capacitance which is grounded to the neck which is grounded so from both the pins I have a capacitance which is of I would say 33 picofarad or 20 to 33 picofarad will do the purpose so these two capacitance will smoothen the working of the oscillator and with this connection you are ready to go with your or you are ready to start your you know embedded experiments with the PIC controller so these LEDs are just connected to show you how to connect it so I have connected four LEDs here on the last you know RB4 to RB7 pin number 4 to 7 of port B and all the negative terminals of the LEDs are connected to a 1 kilo ohm resistance and that 1 kilo ohm resistance is in turn again connected to the negative port. So whenever you are connecting an LED make sure that you have a 1 kilo ohm resistance at the end which is grounded so that will you know make the performance better. So that's it. This is the basic connection what you should have to start your projects with PIC controller. Hope it's clear and you all, you guys like watching it and it's uh, and it was a useful video I guess so keep subscribed stay in touch thank you thanks for watching